G'day there everyone, it's Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this training session. And today we are going to tackle uh, the concept of being able to publish documents once and then display them uh, in multiple different locations. Now we're going to go through two different examples of how the same or a similar outcome can be achieved. Uh, it's interesting over the, the past uh, couple of weeks, I've had a similar discussion and similar requirements from a different organization. So it's obviously a, a common request uh, and a common requirement that you may have in your uh, organization. So we're going to tackle uh, the first one we're going to tackle with content types. So what we're going to do is see how uh, we create a global content type in the content type gallery. And then we've got different document libraries in different sites using that same content type and then using the highlighted content web part, uh, my favorite web part in the SharePoint stack, uh, being able to draw uh, just those content types and display those in a web part. The second scenario we're going to take a look at is being able to, again, using the highlighter content web part, maybe you've got a single uh, location where you want to store your documents, but you want to display all the documents that are in that library in, in multiple different locations. So again, we're going to use the highlight, highlighter content web part, but we're going to use a little query that just drags and pulls and displays the documents from that location. So let's set the scene first, and then we'll get cracking on how we can figure all of this. So you can see on the screen here, I've got three sites. So I've got the landing, which is our intranet homepage. I've got a Contoso benefits site, and I've also got a team site here in leadership. Now, the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the content type strategy. So in the SharePoint admin center, under content services, we've got what we call the content type gallery. Now in here, we can uh, create our content types and site columns. When we publish these, then that makes them available to our uh, sites to then consume and add to a library. So for example, I've created this policy content type here. It's got two uh, additional uh, site or um, columns here called owner and status. So if I go to the landing um, site here and I'll go new document library, let's just call this uh, temp policies for now, like so. Uh, and then once that library is created, we can actually then add that policies content type to this library. Now, when we click on add column, that will allow us, if we scroll down to the bottom on the right here, we can add a content type and then we will be able to select that policy custom content type to add to our library. And you can see there, I can select it, I can add it, uh, and then we can start utilizing that content type. So I've gone ahead and done that and subscribed different libraries. Uh, I've created a policy library in each of these sites and associated that policy content type to that library. What I've also done is uploaded a document, a single document in each library. And we can see here, if I have a look at the information about or the properties of this document, you can see that it's been assigned the policy content type. So each one of those libraries is exactly the same. Now, how do we pull all of those together and display them in a single location? So if we go to the landing homepage here and have a look at the highlighted content web part, it's an out of the box web part that we can do some uh, and display some uh, amazing um, things and configure it in different ways. So if I pop this page into edit mode, um, we can have a look at the properties that I've set for this web part uh, called policies, okay? So I'm going to just wait for this to refresh um, and I'll click inside and open up the properties of this highlighted contents web part. So I'll select the pencil, the panel will fly out from the side and let's have a look at how this is configured. So we're using the filter option here and if I scroll down the source is all sites. So this means that any SharePoint site across your tenant. We've got different sources that we can choose, all right, if you wanna narrow down the scope. But in our case, we're going to keep it very, very broad. So we'll go all sites. Then down on the uh, under the filter and sort section here, we're going to find a managed property. And the managed property that uh, we're going to use is called SP content type. And then I've got equals. So we can see we've got different uh, operations here. Equals, doesn't equal, begins with, contains, doesn't contain. So I'm going to say equals uh, and it equals policy because that's the name of our global content type. And we've added that to different libraries. So that means this web part is going to go out and find all the documents that have been assigned that policies content type and display them right here. 
So we can add this type of web part onto any page, anywhere in any SharePoint site and display the policies. Okay, and we can see there that we've got the three policies, one from each of those sites. Now another approach could be that you've got a single location. Okay, so we've got a single library that contains information or content and we want to display that um, in a web part on a different site or could potentially be multiple different sites. So down under here, what we've got is another highlighted, another instance of the highlighted content web part, but in this case, we're using a query. So we're using a custom query. I've set source to all sites and I've set this path uh, parameter of this um, of this query. So what this is doing is saying, look at this path, and it's the leadership policies document library. That's the path to that document library. So if I jump into the leadership site up the top, you can see that that's the path where those documents are stored. All right. So it's going to look in that path, um, and I've just added a little uh, minus file name contains .aspx, so it doesn't get any of the system pages or any other pages like that. And it's only displaying the documents that are stored in that particular library, but we've narrowed it down to, to specifically that path, all right? So the highlighted content web part is a, a really um, um, beneficial and valuable web part that allows you to, as we've just seen, publish content either in a single location and display it in multiple different locations or have our content spread out across uh, different sites using content types uh, from the content type gallery and assigning and uh, making sure that our documents are assigned to that particular content type. We can then bring them all together and display them in a web part uh, when we're searching for uh, a particular content type like we just did there with the policy content type. So I hope that brings you some value today. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.